My name is Danielle. My name is Cassidy. We love you, Grandma. Oh, I love you too, Glamour Girls. Hi everyone, Glamour here. So welcome back to my channel and for any new ones, welcome. So today I am going to show you a little bit of footage that I filmed yesterday and I wanted to talk to you about what I am going to be doing to try to lose weight. I tried this a few years ago and it worked beautifully so I'm going to try it again um, and I'm not recommending this for you guys I'm just letting you know what I am going to do um, to lose weight for myself so um, I'm not sponsoring this company I'm not suggesting that you do this I suggest you do your research and see if this is something that might interest you but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing it it it's a um what it is is it's a HCG 1234 diet and what they are are drops and the reason why it's called one two three four is because there are four phases to this diet and let me show you what the bottle looks like this is what the two ounce bottle of HCG drops looks like and um, I'll let you do more research on it yourself I don't want to go into a whole history of what it really is and everything you can just look it up but basically it is the hormone that all of us humans have even men have this hormone but this is what shows up when you take a pregnancy test this is what shows up that you have extra amounts of this in your system therefore that's how they determine whether you're pregnant or not um but that doesn't mean that oh if you take this now you're going to be more susceptible to getting pregnant or whatever that's not there's not even enough of this in it in order for that to happen so like i said i don't want to go into the whole um history of it and everything but what they were finding is that um women that were pregnant do tend to lose a little bit of weight right at the beginning before they start gaining the weight and so they did more research and i'll let you do your research on it but this is what I'm gonna be doing I lost weight using this a few years ago it wasn't this brand so this is my first time using this brand the brand that I did use I don't know if it's around anymore or not but anyway I wanted to just kind of preface this video by saying this is just what I'm gonna be doing I'm not saying that you should do it do your research and everything else today I wasn't sure what kind of makeup to put on because um, you have to avoid oils and stuff on your face, in your body, and everything else. So everything is absorbed through your skin and whatever you put in your body as well. But I um, have this printout here um, for the diet, and I read it. And right here, one of the questions was, can I wear makeup? And I'll read you the answer. The answer is yes. However, try to avoid lotions, moisturizers, or liquid makeups with oil. HCG is very sensitive to oils, creams, and fats. These could slow the weight loss process down. You only want it to target your stored fat. You can use any mineral makeup or pressed powders, and of course, oil-free foundations are fine. And so I'm gonna stop there for a second. I used my Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer because it says um, doo -doo -doo -doo, medium to full coverage lightweight oil free formula so I went ahead and used this I'm so glad that I had a foundation that was oil free it says other types of eye makeup and lipsticks are fine stay away from lip glosses and chapstick if your lips get dry the protocol says to use Carmex it also says if needed you can use mineral oil and then in parentheses it says baby oil if needed as a moisturizer so yeah that's um, the only thing I'm gonna have to be careful of is look at the ingredients of everything I put on my body and that I put in my body um, food wise 
So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and insert the footage and uh, sorry if it's too long. I was considering putting this footage in with the update footage that I'm going to be doing. I've already weighed myself this morning. I've already measured myself, my waist, my arms, my thighs, my hips. I've measured everything, weighed myself. And I thought about putting this footage that I'm going to show you in a minute. I thought about putting that along with all the other um things that I did I took before pictures that are so embarrassing um and yeah I'm going to be doing that probably on a daily basis taking pictures weighing myself and I'm going to put all that in a vlog and I didn't want to make the vlog too long by inserting this footage that I'm going to be showing you and the updates so yeah I thought I would break it up and show you this footage now to show you what I'm going to be doing and you probably won't see the other vlog that shows my weight and the pictures and all that for three to six weeks. The reason I say three to six weeks is because there's two plans. You can do the three week plan or the six week plan. If I lose the weight that I want in three weeks, then I'll stop that and then start on phase um, three at that, no, phase one. Yeah, I'll start on phase three then and then phase four. If I haven't lost the weight that I want in three weeks, then I'll do the full six weeks and then start phase four and start phase four, three and four, I mean. Um, so I'm hoping that I can lose the weight that I want in three weeks. So maybe you'll see that vlog of the weight updates and all that in three weeks, or maybe you'll see it in six weeks. I don't know. So, all right, I just wanted to break it up so that that portion isn't too long. So go ahead and watch this, and I kind of tell you a little bit more about this. I read a little bit about the kind of foods that are included, because I know when I am looking into a diet, I want to know what kind of foods am I going to be able to eat? Is it gross food or what? So I kind of talk a little bit about that. I do the unboxing of when I got it in the mail. Um, and stuff like that. Alrighty guys, enjoy and then I'll come back and do the outro and say goodbye to you guys. Glamma here. So I just wanted to come on camera really quick and show you um, what I got in the mail just now. I've been waiting for this and what they are are HCG drops to help me lose weight and stabilize my weight and maintain it and everything else. So I'm going to turn the camera around here in a minute and show you what the drops look like. All right. So I've already opened up the box and uh, to make sure that nothing was broken here because I had already ordered um, the same thing and I had it shipped from webs from the online store straight to the Walmart here in town and one of the bottles in here was broke so um, it's gonna take a while for me to get a replacement because um, you have to send it all back print out another label and this and that so my husband just went ahead and ordered another set and had it just shipped here and so these are what the drops look like so now I'm gonna end up with four bottles there's two bottles in here and two in the one that I had to send back but these are the drops I chose I've never tried these HCG drops um, the ones I tried before um, were from a different company this one is from I believe it's bioscience these had the best reviews so I'm gonna go ahead and try these and I guess my husband ordered something else with it um, for himself super greens um, what does it say? Certified, Certified organic whole food formula. What, babe? Just add them to your smoothies so you don't have to like, oh. use them a whole handful of spinach if you don't want. Oh, cool. Kale, just, a, just a powdered green. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, it says it has wheatgrass, alfalfa, spirulina, spiral, whatever, kale, all this good stuff you can see right there. I don't feel like reading. <laughs> um, so I've already done a little bit of reading on this before this even got here online and I think my husband also ordered an HCG book that didn't come with this packaging so maybe it's coming separate but I'm gonna pause the uh, camera right now so that I well maybe I can do it with one hand I don't know okay let me see so I can show you what the drops look like so I guess the reason you, why you might want two bottles is because this is, I believe, a three to six week type program. And if you still haven't lost the weight that you want, um, you can do it again. So there's the other bottle. And so this is what the bottle looks like. 
I believe it's two ounces, yes, two fluid ounces, and you're supposed to put 10 drops of this under your tongue 10 minutes before you eat, and then you're not supposed to eat for 10 minutes after you've done the drops. And so you do this three times a day, and you're supposed to lose like a pound a day. I know that a lot of people are probably gonna say, oh, that's not healthy, but I found that this is what has worked for me in the past. I've done it one time, and I actually got down to my goal weight. It's just the only reason I've gained weight is because a lot of stress in life happened almost immediately after I lost all my weight. And I didn't gain it back for like maybe a year. I just gained it back like two years ago um, due to stress and getting older and all kinds of other good stuff that we don't want to talk about. <laughs> so yeah, it's, oh, okay, it's by Creative Bioscience. Um... And so there's three phases to this diet. Phase one is your load phase. Phase two is your lose phase. Phase three is your stabilize. I guess there's four phases. Phase four is it teaches you how to maintain it. So I'm not going to read all the booklet to you or anything like that, but I'm probably going to be doing some vlogging. Um, while I'm on the diet, I'm probably going to start it tomorrow. Today is Tuesday. I'll probably start it tomorrow because for phase one, um, there's two phase ones. There's either if you bought capsules or if you brought, bought drops, and I bought drops. So it says for two days, take your creative bioscience weight loss supplement as suggested and eat as many fatty foods as you like. So you do that for two days. And then on the third day, um, from on the third let me see hold on on the on day three and for the next three to six weeks based on your needs so if i lose the weight that i want in three weeks i can stop if i still haven't lost the weight that i want i can go a full six weeks um and depending on your lifestyle continue to take your bioscience weight loss supplements as suggested and follow the one two three four diet protocol so in here is going to be foods that are okay to eat and foods that are not okay to eat phase three is stabilizing you stop taking the drops and you very slowly start introducing regular foods that aren't just um, supposed to be for the diet you just start introducing the regular types of foods that you used to eat with the except exception of sugar and starch um, and that way you teach yourself to, you know, how to, uh, I don't know, basically change your lifestyle. And it says if you, hey, I'm going to turn the camera around for a second. After you're done with phase three and you start introducing foods, regular foods back to your diet, um, you do it one at a time. And if you notice that one particular food that you ate the night before, all of a sudden you've gained more weight than, you've gained, what does it say? Oh, hold on a second. It says, continue to weigh and measure yourself and if you gain more than two pounds over your lowest phase two weight, once you get down to your goal, if you gain two pounds over that, it says, once you're in phase three, it says do a steak day. And a steak day means you drink water all day long, just water, and then a juicy steak for dinner. And then later on, you have an apple for a snack or a tomato. And then by the, by the next morning, you should be back to your, um, to the goal weight where you left off on phase two. So that's kind of a cool way to teach you like let's say you know that you're gonna go have a celebratory dinner or something and you're like okay so I'll, I'll go do the celebratory dinner or something but I know tomorrow I'm gonna have to have a steak day um, I guess that's one way that you could use this um, and I know that I got down to a nice weight back then and like I said just life happened and stress and everything else and I slowly gained my weight back but we're gonna get back down there and you're gonna see this double chin disappear. See that double chin? No good. <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna weigh myself. Um, I always weigh myself in the morning. Right after I wake up, I, you know, obviously go pee. <laughs> and then I weigh myself. Um, and so I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna probably vlog 
probably I'll do short little snippet videos. I'll put the camera down to my feet where the weight scale is and um, I'll do that every morning or, or maybe two or three times a week. I'm, it might be too long of a vlog if I do it too many days. I'm going to include this footage that you're watching right now obviously into the vlog as well. And as I learn more about it and get used to the foods that I'm supposed to eat, um, I will talk to you all about it on, on a later segment of this vlog and I'll show you the foods that we can eat and uh, yeah. I'm trying to remember how I used to eat. I don't remember exactly. So right now I'm going to go and sit in my living room and I'm going to read this little booklet that came in it. And then when Adam's book comes, I'll read the book too. So, all right, guys. I will tell you right now that I am at about 132 and I'm only 4'11 and a half. My goal. My real goal would be to be about 100 to 105 because that's good for my height. Last time I got down to 110, but I think I had started at like 118 or 116, so I really only needed to do it for a short time. Um, but this time I have to do it a lot longer because I've gained, I'm the heaviest I've ever been. So I hope to be down to 110 and then my next goal will be 105 or 100. That way, um, if I get down to 100 or 105, if I do gain a pound or two, I'll still look good, I'll still feel good, and so on. So that's my goal, is short term 110, maybe 105, maybe 100, long term. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna go do some reading. I wanted to show you, this is the booklet that comes with it, and when I first did the HCG diet, you were supposed to do the drops and um, 500 calories a day of food um, for phase three. Um, but the new booklet is suggesting, let me see if I can find it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find it. Well, my cat just knocked everything over. Um, this booklet, the new booklet that comes with the drops is suggesting 1,200 to 1,500 calories a day but I don't even think I consume that regularly when I'm not even on the diet. So I'm going to do the 500 calorie HCG diet like I did in the past. And so I had my husband go online while he was at work because we don't have a printer here. Well, we do. We just don't have ink in the printer right now. And I had him find me the 500 calorie version of it, which is the exact same thing. It's just consume 500 calories and since I'm so tiny I'm only um, 4'11 and a half um, I, I, I think my body is okay with doing the 500 calories um, I don't remember feeling weak or deprived or anything like that because um, I don't eat that much during the day because I forget to eat anyway so I wanted to show you on here as well oh excuse me <coughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze really fast. I wanted to show you some of the foods that you eat on this diet so that you can make kind of an informed decision as to whether or not you would want to do this. This booklet's really small to, to read, but um, your protein's gonna consist of meats, fish. You're gonna have three, three and a half ounces of the protein a day. And this is really small to read. So I'm gonna go ahead and it tells you what kind of oils you can or can't cook with, the types of vegetables, the fruits. But this is really small, so I'm gonna go over to this page because, sorry, I was right in the middle of recording and my husband texted me and knocked me out of my recording. So you can do the diet for a 23 day program, like probably the three weeks that I'm talking about. If you lose your weight within that time, you can stop or you can do the 40 day program. And this is what that looks like. You can pause this if you want to read this all. So you see, this one says the 500 calorie diet, but the little booklet that comes with it says 1200 to 1500. And this is if you're doing the 40 day program. I'm hoping I can lose the weight in the 23 day program, but I'm kind of shooting for the 40 day, but 
wishing for the for the best the 23 day one okay so let me show you this and my cats are playing all over my paper so it says let's look at the diet details breakfast and between meals so this is what a breakfast would look like um, you would do your drops and then you'd have coffee or tea unlimited daily but black coffee and tea um, actually it says you can have one tablespoon of fat-free milk daily so you can probably put that in your coffee or your tea saccharin or stevia unlimited one fruit at breakfast or between meals two per day one melba toast or grassini breadstick at breakfast or between meals and you can have two per day same with that um, and it does say down here in the dinner area that if you because like I don't usually have fruit in the morning I'm usually satisfied with coffee so if you don't want to have your fruit in the morning you can have it at dinner time instead but as long as you just get your two fruits a day so I would probably do it at lunch and at dinner for myself actually and for lunch and dinner um, you're gonna have protein it says choose one of the following protein items for lunch and dinner so this is what I wanted to show you so that you could see that you can actually eat pretty good you know protein meals so we've got veal shrimp chicken breast crab lobster beef whitefish tilapia cod halibut sole flounder so I've already read this whole um, this whole printout there's like 20 pages. So you're allowed protein twice a day for lunch and dinner, but it says not to have the same protein in one day. So if you have veal for lunch, have crab for dinner. If you have um, beef for lunch, then have shrimp for dinner. They don't want you to have the same proteins in the same day. So I just wanted to show you that, you know, it's not, you're not going to be like eating nasty tasting food this is all good stuff and if you don't like um, seafood then you can have beef you can have veal you can have other stuff most of it is fish is seafood that they want you to have but there's a there's quite an array of choices there so I wanted to show you that let's see what else there is okay here's the vegetables that you can have throughout the day and it does tell you things like all visible fat must be removed before cooking and it's talking about your um, your protein. Um, all meats and seafood must be broiled, boiled, baked, fried, or grilled with no additional fat. Um, salmon, eel, fresh tuna, or herring, dried or pickled, are not permitted. The chicken breast must be removed from the bone. All protein must weigh 3.5 ounces raw. So we bought a weight scale. I'll show you that in a minute. These are the vegetables that you can have. <clears throat> and it says choose one vegetable from the following vegetables for lunch and dinner. So you can have any of these vegetables right here. All of these. And I don't really, I like spinach. I'm okay with cabbage. I'm not really, I like onions, but I don't see myself just eating raw onions. So I don't know. I'm not crazy about radish. Um, I do like green salad. I do like tomatoes. I do like celery. I do like asparagus. I do like cucumber. So anyway, there we go. This is what a typical day would look like. It says typical day will look like the following. Breakfast, you would have coffee, tea, water, and a fruit. But like I said, I might do my fruit at dinner time. Lunch, 100 grams of lean meat and 100 grams is 3.5 ounces. Um, 100 grams of lean meat, a vegetable, coffee, tea, or water, and then afternoon snack would be a fruit, a low car carbohydrate, low starch cracker. So um, it's like the Melby toast or the Grassini stick, I think it said, would be what they're talking about right there. And then for dinner, you would have 100 grams of lean meat. One, it says, remember, no. What I can't see. Remember, no same proteins in a day. So that's what I was explaining to you. You want to have, if you have um, one protein at lunch, you want to have a different protein for dinner and vice versa. Okay, and then you have your vegetable, coffee, tea, or water. 
it says you may change fruit schedule and have one for dinner instead of breakfast which is more than likely what I will do because I don't see I'm not hungry in the mornings usually so okay two fruits or vegetables should not be taken together um, so they want you to follow it like this they don't want you to have um, two different kinds of vegetables they want you to have one vegetable at lunch one different one vegetable at dinner they don't want you to mix them they don't want you to have celery and cucumbers for lunch they want you to have either celery or cucumbers so anyway so there's a lot of reading here but that's just a little bit of what um, you can expect if you were to do this diet it's not bad looking food so that's why I wanted to show you and this might not be for you and so this is I'm just letting you know this is what I'm doing I'm not advocating this for anyone else this is what I'm doing here's the weight scale that we bought yesterday it weighs up to 11 pounds of food it has a large LCD display so I'll open it up here in a minute so you can see what this looks like I got it at Walmart it was I believe $18 See if I can do it with one hand. <laughs> Probably not. Let me see. Put this between my legs and pull it out. Okay, so there it is. Got an instructions. And it's cute and tiny. This is my hand, so this is the size of it. And it uses um, AAA batteries, and I believe they're already included, the box said. So yeah, it's adorable. It's made out of bamboo. So if you have to cut up vegetables, you can cut it up on there. Um, I don't know if the batteries are already in it or not. Maybe not. Let me just pull that out. Maybe it'll work now. Yeah, there we go. So that's what the LD screen looks like. So let's just weigh something and see. I'll just weigh my HCG bottle. So there it is. So if you want to zero it out, you can zero it out. Like let's say you're going to put your food in a bowl and so you put the bowl on there you can you don't want to weigh the bowl and the food um or the plate and the food so if you put the plate on there or the bowl you can then zero it out and then you can add your food and then you'll know okay there's my 3.5 ounces so anyway this is what it looks like it's adorable and uh yeah i will see y'all in the morning when i weigh myself bye have a good night okay guys so i know that was a lot of information and um yeah um, and that's not even half of the information that I read, but um, I just wanted to let you know what I'm going to be doing. And <clears throat> in case any of y'all are wondering, today's starting weight is 132.6. Eek! That's the heaviest, no, actually the heaviest I've ever been is 134, I think. Um, but today was day one. I did my weight I did my measuring I've already done my first set of drops and so this is my first day of the loading phase or the gorging phase and so I've got drops to do in the afternoon and then I got drops to do tonight but I will put all that in a vlog for you to watch later in like I said three to six weeks I'm not sure when um let me see if I'm forgetting anything else uh, I know it's going to work. I can't wait to see the pounds melting off, see this double chin go away. Oh, my word. That's why I have the camera up high so that it kind of looks down on my face. Because if I had the camera right level, you would see my double chin even more. Eek! <laughs> Tricks, right? Tricks. <laughs> Tricks of the camera so that I can hide my double chin. But yet, I still see it all the time in my videos. So, all right, um, I hope you enjoyed all that. Go do your research if you want to try this. You're supposed to lose like a pound a day. Um, 
and it's going to vary from person to person depending on how much weight you have to lose and how well you stick to the diet and stuff like that. So um, I don't know if I'm forgetting to say anything. Like I said, I'm not suggesting that you guys try this. I'm just letting you know what I'm going to be doing and hopefully um, you'll be seeing in my future videos here in the next few days anytime I do a makeup video or pretty soon I'm going to be doing the Retin-A application. Remember I did the unboxing? Well I'm going to be doing the first application here soon and I'm going to be using the Care Prost which is the generic version of Latisse. So hopefully when I do those videos you'll start noticing that my face is getting slimmer. And in case you start noticing that I wanted to put this video out so that you know why my face might be looking slimmer or you know, hopefully you'll start seeing a difference. I'm hoping to see a difference in my face, my cheeks. I hold a lot of my fat in my cheeks and my tummy. <laughs> so you'll see that. Um, yeah, well, you'll see that when I do the vlog of all the updates of the HCG1234 diet updates. Alrighty guys, don't forget how much I love you. Don't forget to love yourselves and everyone you come in contact with. All right, bye. Mwah. Thank you for watching our Glamour's channel.